on my channel. Collect and trade. We have the RISE TCG Betaset Standard Edition here in English. Let's take a look inside. Basically, it's the alpha set. Just revisited. Censored. Some cards are censored in English now. And the colors are probably more intense. And there are more level up cards. So these are more designed for playing. The story is here. So, let's take a look inside now. The display is smaller than the alpha display. You can see that right away. And there are 24 instead of 36 boosters inside. 24 boosters, each with 10 cards. Right now, we're introducing these rice stamps. Just like with Prestige 2023. Exactly. Um, and there's another promo card included, which is this one. It's the promo card from the beta set. A gem donut rank for creature and Pomo. Exactly. That's how it is. That's the thing. So, passport control. So, mail received and we're back already. Sorry for the short interruption. Exactly. The display is smaller than usual. Maybe you noticed a change on the table. Something just arrived also. Yes. Um, but let's take a look inside here. Because um, everyone who pre-ordered these boxes, who made a pre-order for this beta box, gets one of these packets. Included iPack Sample Candy Pokari Sweat. Nice! Okay, we've got the Unslain as a lenticular card here. Cool stuff. Um, let's start on the side. These are the ones I have so far. I believe there are, again, about 30 pieces, meaning they are always available by default. Hard to get by oneself, so you would need to buy 30 boosters. That's why the desk packs are so good. There are 24 pieces in here. Um, there are three booster artworks, which are the following. Um, Light Clover Flower, Devastation and uh, uh, Telekinesis. Exactly, um, and we're going to check out some booster packs together, right now and here. Uh, you guys know the alpha cards from me, hopefully and accordingly. Uh, can we draw a small comparison? What has changed now on these cards? Let's take a look. Here we have core level up. Yes, it looks normal at first, maybe increase the color intensity a bit. Um, target summoner gains one level. Okay. 308 cards are in the set, just like before. Previously, it was designed by Aurelie, and here we see the first update. A B instead of an A at the bottom in the rarity symbol. Then it was the EN 2024 edition instead of EN 2022, I think, at the alpha. Exactly. So, that as a novelty. The back of the cards also looks completely normal. So, uh, yes. But we've already made a start with a level up card. So, as I said, there are many more level up cards in here. That's a new feature, and yes. One might also notice that the colors are more intense. We know the cards. In total, 10 cards inside, it's meaning seven regular non-holographic cards and three holographics. I think the print run of the displays is 2,000 pieces. Limited uh, per language. Correct me if I'm wrong. There are now French and English versions of it. So, 2000 I believe are English and 2000 display file. Uh, they are French, and that's as far as I understood. Um, if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments. Feel free to join the Discord server. Here we have the pristine level up. D it's not nice. Feel free to join our Discord server, interact with us there, and show what you've pulled. Show your collections, show yourselves. Feel free to share your openings, post photos and videos, and just enjoy yourselves while staying updated with the latest news. And of course there are giveaways from time to time. Yes, really awesome stuff. Uh, exactly. The Candy Bokelop story that's in the background, which you might have liked. I got it for an opening too. That means um, we will open that in a video too. I'm trying to do it quite promptly. I'm trying to get this video out in time, and then, of course, um, yes, this is for you guys. Yes, that's probably very interesting for you as well. Those are test cards. This is an official set here, intended for the players. And that back there is of course now a test set. Really cool thing. The Purity Lazy Z. Rank 3. 
Morpha and the first Hollow Legendary. We have here a Sword of Destiny, and they look really clean. Check this out, they really look clean, and um, yes, the stamp, it just looks different. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. Uh, yes, I hope you're all doing well too. Uh, stay healthy and cheerful out there. And let's look into the Father Boosters, just to see. Um, I've heard there should be about two to three legendaries per booster box. Whether that's true, we'll see right here and now. We're already at the third. I don't know if that refers only to holographics, or if it applies to the display in general, three pieces. That means if you have two non-holos, you can only... Uh, holo crisis, I don't know. Collector cards and such, in case the question comes up, they don't exist in the beta set. Then it's purely something for players. And not for collectors. Even if collectors naturally want to get a full set of this, just like I am now. Exactly. Mm. Subtitled by the Amarato community. If you need any single cards, I have some duplicates here from the display opening and probably some extras beyond that. If you need anything that I have in duplicates, uh, let's swap. I'm also interested in the French cards, of course. Uh, I would like to have the French set as well. To complete the set. So I'm also happy to trade my English ones for your French ones. Unfortunately, I don't have any in French. I only have the English ones. Exactly that much. And that's it. How do you actually feel about me having the latest openings translated into... Um, uh, English and French? Using artificial intelligence? What do you think? Do you like it? Or do you think it's horrible? I don't know how you see it. As a native speaker, uh, perhaps in this language, it would be interesting to hear from you guys too. Let me know by all means. I thought it might be nice to have the videos in different languages, even if I don't necessarily speak them. Yeah, English of course I could do, but... Once I've started recording and can just translate the audio file, I think uh, that makes it much more comfortable for me. And you guys probably don't mind, right? As long as the essence comes out and it's in your language, you don't... Somehow, we'll have to rethink this into another language. Uh, I think that's a pretty cool thing. You don't have to pay anything for it, it's all for free for you anyway, just as entertainment. <laughs> Why not? A uh, dark temple skeleton and sorcery. Nice. One of the rarer holographic cards, sorcery. So, and I think we are almost done with the display. I hope it's well lit. I could also, theoretically, uh, adjusting the lamp a bit if I move the iPad away. Uh, so I hope this doesn't interfere with the face cam. So um, maybe a bit more light will come in from the side here. And we've got the next uh, legendary free coin. We've already got a few four. It should be non-holographic legendaries and two legendary hollows now. I'd say it's a pretty good average. I'm trying not to make the video too long. Oh, 17 here. Envy, the Unslain, and Lotharos. Uh, of course, they're all from the surface, with Selective Hollow again. Really cool, but I think it's not great. Another hollow effect. I just forgot the card in that booster. Sorry about that. Um, I guess the hologram effect is kind of the same. New Hulu effects, I believe, we'll get again in the next main set, which is the... Um, Candy Apocalypse will be abduction. So how many patterns do we have left? Not many. We now have five. Yes, ten pieces left. Let's take a look. So far, uh, my favorite is Protein Level Up. Clear case. But for statistics, it's of course interesting. What else comes out of it? Uh, what else is coming out of the display? Do you guys actually prefer the support display or booster box? For me, uh, it has somehow become usual to always say display. Because I think in the realm of Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and the like, that's quite normal. 
But I believe in other languages, people also like to say booster box. Nice. Cloverfield? Nice. Great car. And uh, Serious Exploration? Also cool. Nice. And next... Another Lucky Clover. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, I sometimes do walk the streets too. When I have new boxes to open with you all, uh, and there I always have a pool box with uh, test cards inside and so forth. And anyone who draws one of those Lucky Clover cards, like one of those, at least with Alpha and Beta set, you always get a free pull from this box. Just like that. As a heads up. In case you've missed it up to now, you could actually join in. Next up. Oh, cool. A healthy level up holographic. We'll take a closer look at the cool hits at the end in detail. But first, let's rush through the boosters and see what's inside what is hidden in this display for us. In theory, I believe, with the limitation of don't give up on legendaries. In total, there are only three holographic ones. And Greed and Lilith, hmm, nice. Yes, exactly. Um, feel free to check out the video description. There are links to Discord, my webshop, and more. This includes Kickstarter cards, among others. I usually have some in there even though I've just opened the shop now, needs to be updated again. Generous level up. Because it's been inactive for a while, the shop was also put on pause. Accordingly, I have to make sure now that everything is correct with the settings, that the number of cards is correct and such. Accordingly. And about the beta set, I need to expand that now so I can also include the duplicate beta set cards. Because from the set point of view, they're essentially the same cards, but still somehow a little different. And maybe one or two people might want that. Just for the sake of Ryza TCG history completeness. Uh, uh, exactly. Uh, but in terms of quality, there's nothing to complain about. They're still really good. Although, now that I mention it, there's a white spot on the card here below. Uh, yes, that's where the alarm is. Was about to say, anyone we address, we find damage. We still have three boosters. We still have three boosters. Can we pull legendaries or not? Legendaries in the beta set here. Uh, of course, that's what you'd want to pull. And of course, all the cards you need for your deck. By the way, there's a nice next legendary free coin on the Discord server. By the way, there is also a deck on the Discord server. Build event. Uh, you build a deck. Basically submit it. There's a special website for that. Uh, and then you can can win the sample boosters too so and see you and the last booster love pack magic we get something special again and yet again the doorbell ringing without a moment so and the last pack no more legendary all right then um, I'd say that definitely checked out. Uh, we'll check it out in a moment. Uh, right, our community. So... Uh, la -di -da -di -da. Let's take another look at what we pulled from this booster display. We have here one for arms. Don't be surprised. The mail just arrived. I just ran down. Three coin. Uh, sort of destiny. Four arms. Three legendary holographic cards. A healthy level up. Really awesome in hollow. And these four legendary non hollows. How would you say? Was the hole good? Or was it not so good? Feel free to write it in the comments. I would appreciate a thumbs up. Yes, mm, and then we'll see each other. Hopefully, not out of breath. See you in the next video. And yes, that's it for now. Next time we'll take a look at the Candy Apocalypse sample display. Exactly. Until then and goodbye.